Ozzy. I am. Totally. <laughs> but I'm really into blondes. Later. So fab. Check out, I'm blonde. I'm skinny. I'm rich. And I'm a little bit of a bitch. There's a difference between boyfriend and boyfriend. It's this little space called the friend zone. That's where you are. Ooh. Ooh. What? Oh, yeah. Mm 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 only thing you're taking from me is lessons. Okay, lesson number one, this is how you do the head thing. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I went there. <laughs> well, you know where I'm gonna go? Down the toilet with the rest of your career? With a dream, my cardigan. Welcome to the land of fame, excess. Am I gonna fit in? What? No? Not by you? I ain't say that. No, you don't. To pay the rent. I want you to know. I'm not mad at you. As a matter of fact, I'm happy for you I'm glad you went and found another Can anyone else relate to this or is it just me? Every time I see a perfume shop, I immediately run into it not because I'm trying to buy perfume, of course not, but because I know they're going to have some nice testers in there. The problem is though, the sales assistants know what I'm doing. They figured out my master plan. So whilst I'm drowning myself in Jean-Paul Gaultier, they're asking me questions like, can I help you? No, Gemma, we both know what's happening here. I'm never going to buy this perfume, so let me steal your testers in peace. So I had to think of a new plan to stop this from happening. And it looks something like this. Hiya, would you like me to box that up for you? No way, oh my god, really? Excuse me? Yeah, I know, I'll be there soon. Uh, madam? Uh, sorry, sorry. 